now know the name of the victim from Sunday morning's deadly stabbing on Francis Street. Police found 26-year-old O'Shea Ford with a stab wound to the chest after an argument with his girlfriend. He died shortly after his arrival to the hospital. A friend of Ford tells Fox 55's Gentile Neal there were red flags before the incident happened. Let's talk to her friend O'Shea Ford a few weeks ago. She didn't think it would be the last time. If I needed something, he had it. And now I can't call my friend, I can't text him, I can't hear his voice. She learned from a family member that Ford was stabbed Sunday morning at these apartments on Francis Street. Police say his girlfriend, Lakeisha James, stabbed him in the chest during an argument. An arrest affidavit says James became angry after she looked through his phone and claimed she found evidence of infidelity. Police say James told them Ford refused to give her her phone and leave the apartment. Grace says she only saw James a few times, but she had a bad feeling about her. Yeah, I, I knew something was kind of off about her when I first met her, but I didn't really put my finger on it until a couple, uh, maybe a couple months after that, when he would call me and tell me like the, the stuff that she was doing and like yelling at him and they always fighting. And I, and I told Shasta, Shay, Shay, you gotta leave. And then Sunday, it was too late. The affidavit says James told investigators she only meant to Nick Ford and call police when she realized the injury was serious. James is facing charges of aggravated battery and domestic battery. When we're talking about domestic situations, I mean, they're not they're not all the same. Every situation is different. Um, the aggressor can be male or can be female. And we just want everyone to know that if you are in a domestic situation that you need to call us or victim's assistance, find out what help is out there for you. James and Ford were together since 2016, according to James's Facebook page. At the same time, you can't help who you love. Man, it just sucks. In Fort Wayne, Gentil Nell Foss, 55 News. Police say there was a child inside during the time of the incident, but that child was not harmed.